What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Um, as many of you may or may not know, if you're sports fans, um, you know that the NBA has said that they are going to resume their season July the 31st. Um, different opinions have surfaced since the announcement. A lot of players are really ready to come back. And there are a few that are kind of hesitant about coming back for different reasons. One obvious reason, of course, is um, the concern for uh, coronavirus. And people are kind of like, man, I don't know. I don't know if I want to come back and take the risk because they are going to be playing in a single location in Orlando, Florida. All the teams that are coming back are going to be playing in this one location. And it's going to be like under a bubble-like arena and there's going to be certain protocols that the players have to follow and regular testing to make sure that nobody um, contracts the virus and brings it back and starts this whole thing back over again um, other reasons that players have expressed uh, hesitation or doubt about coming back is because of the recent um, events that are taking place with officers killing black men and women um, in the case of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and Ahmaud Arbery and uh, Rayshard Brooks for example and some of the players are like no until we start to see more social reform I don't think we should come back so you got players who want to put that pressure on the owners and the corporations and the city state and national government um, just on those levels but there's one brother, Trevor Ariza, who is sitting out for a totally different reason. And he's involved in a custody battle for his 12-year-old son, uh, with the mother of his 12-year-old son. And the court granted him a one-month visitation that, to my understanding, can only be utilized right around the same time frame that the league is going to start back up. So Trevor Reza chose fatherhood over sport. And I got to commend the brother for that. And I know what a lot of people are thinking. Some people say, well, man, stop giving people credit for doing things that they're supposed to do anyway. You always hear that narrative when somebody uh, gives an individual props for being a good father or for being a good worker or whatever the case may be. But the truth of the matter is that it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how consistent you do it, how many years you've done it. I don't care who you are. It still feels good for somebody to come to you every now and then, even if it's out the blue and just say, hey, man, I appreciate what you're doing, man. You're doing a good job, man. You know, that, that's that's a motivating factor, even if it is something that you're supposed to be doing anyway. So, a guy like Trevor Reza, who's probably been in the NBA 13, 14, 15 years, in that time frame, he's spending eight, nine months out of a year traveling on the road, playing basketball, where he gets very little time to be around um, his, his, his own family uh, not to mention his son who's 12 now so from 12 years of his career it's been constant traveling and, and maybe not being able to see his son as often as he liked and if there's a situation where him and the child's mother may have had an issue um, now it's set up to where um, there's uh, visitations that are instituted by the courts and he's taking advantage of it to spend that time with his son. So I, I give him props for that. I don't look at the, that as something that's being a bad thing. I don't know what the ramifications are going to be in terms of his salary and how they're going to work that out. But um, I do know that um, in, this day, in this day and age, in any day and age, but particularly in this day and age, um, the importance of a man being around his son and being a father to his son has to be in the forefront um there there are a lot of people that may uh view it in a different lens they may view it from a financial standpoint things of that nature but that's just 
that's just my view on it and just and some of y'all have been through that some of y'all are going through it now some of y'all may be dealing with um what we like to call baby mom and baby daddy drama because i don't just put it on um the women you know because there are a lot of uh of, of males who may have custody and, and they may be trying they may be doing the same thing to the woman that traditionally the woman is uh, accused of or, or doing to the man in terms of seeing a child in terms of uh, child support and in terms of just being petty in general so what we got to understand and, and factor in is that everything that we should be doing should be for the benefit of the child not because we're still angry or upset or bitter about the end with towards the individual that you had the child with because in the long run the children are gonna get older they're gonna grow into manhood or womanhood and they're gonna grow into the understanding of how things really went down and they could possibly grow to resent you as a parent or dislike you if they find out later that you were withholding that other parent from them because of your own personal issues that you may have had so whether you're a man or a woman we got to factor that in when we get upset if the child is with you don't be talking bad about the other parent around the child or to the child rise above your emotions i know you're mad i know you're hurt y'all ain't together no more whatever the case may be but at the end of the day it's all about the child and, and, the, and the well-being of that child moving forward to make him or her a productive member of society. So tell me what y'all think about that, man. And, you know, again, I'm going to shout out to Trevor Reza because he could have took, he could have just decided, hey, man, we're going to go play ball, but he's prioritizing his son. So y'all tell me what y'all think about that. Share your stories if you want to, and um, I'll holler at y'all. Peace.